Angeline Sauce. How you doing? How you doing, family? Angeline Sauce family, how are you? I miss you guys. Every time I'm not interacting, you know, with you all, I miss you guys. So, I have to say, I miss you guys. So, yes. So, today, um, it's, um, this is a day that I am Brittany, your, uh, founder and owner of Angel Wings Sauce. Um, and I'm letting you guys just, you know, kind of cook with me, uh, this evening. It's going to be a two-part to this because, um, the dish that I'm making, I need to let it sit overnight. So, it's going to be a two-part to this. Um, I first just want to say this. Um, Angel Wings Sauce, Blood of Jesus Sauce, uh, you're not just customers, you're family to me, okay? You guys have invested in the business. You guys have uh, believed in the vision from the beginning. I don't look at you guys as customers. I look at you guys as family. So that's why I'm here tonight. I'm interacting with you guys. I want you guys to get to know me. I want you guys to be a part of the brand and feel important. And that's why I come on and I, you know, spend my time with you guys. Um, cause you know, I, I feel that you guys are family at this point. Um, Angel Wing Sauce is still in the move. Um, I appreciate everyone who's ordered for your summer and spring grilling. Um, yeah, I appreciate you all. I, I love you guys for uh, believing and loving the sauce. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a good thing. So tonight, basically, what I have you guys doing with me is I'm cooking. So basically... I don't know how many of you guys are like from the old school or like the old school. I'm, I'm like old school all day, you know. I'm just like grandma's baby, you know. So, um, when I have a recipe in my hand or something I want to eat, I sit and I let that thing marinate, you know, in my spirit, in my soul. I'm like, what ingredients am I going to use? What am I going to do with it? You know, I let it sit. So it'll take me about a day or two to put that thing together in my head and my spirit and my soul. Because I want that thing to taste good. You know, so um, tonight I'm going to make, well, first let me tell you why I thought of this. Um, usually I do my cooking Saturday, Sunday for my, for the week, for the upcoming week. And I do that because I'm trying to stay healthy. I want to, you know, um, stay in best uh, condition as possible. So I'm like, what's a dish? Let me pre-prepare my food. So when I'm finished doing my running around and my errands, I don't want to have to, like, you know, go to a fast food spot or just order food from a restaurant all the time. I'm like, okay, I want to come home for my errands. My food is already prepped. It's a healthy dish. I can sit down, relax, and I can eat my dish, you know, and it's and it's going into my body and it's healthy. So, one thing that's been sitting on my, my heart this week, I don't know if y'all are going through what I'm going through, but down here in North Carolina, it is hot, okay? This week has been unbelievably hot. It is hot, 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 and more hot. Okay, so I'm like, what's a nice, cool, fulfilling dish that I can come home from my errands, running around, and I can, you know, sit down, and I can freaking eat in a bowl, and it's healthy, nice and cool, you know. So I thought about a shrimp pasta salad. So that's what I'm going to make this evening, shrimp pasta salad. You guys know it has to refrigerate overnight to really get that quality, so that's why I'm making it, pre-making it, and then I'll do a part two to this, and you guys can see the final product. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to let you guys just cook with me because this dish is going to take a little minute. Uh, I'm just lounging around the house, guys. I'm in, like, my my house gown and my head adornment. You know, I'm just lounging around the house. But you guys are family, you know. So I'm going to let you guys cook with me. You know, and I like when we do that. Um, I'm not, I don't want to cook in silence tonight because I like to play a little music when I cook. But... On the real Instagram, Instagram, the higher up, so whoever runs this thing, they give me a hard time, y'all. And every time I cook or I do a video, I do it with my music. Music that I've written, music that is owned by me, my music. Music I sing. And Instagram gives me a hard time, you know, and I have to sit and debate with these people. I'm like, this is my music. This music is copywritten by me, with me, all me, like... 
keep my videos up. So all the videos that you've seen on Instagram, um, Angel Wing Sauce and Blood of Jesus Sauce page where I'm cooking with my music, I had to fight for those videos to stay up because I don't know if it's like Instagram is like, oh, this music is too good, it must belong to someone else, or, you know, or maybe they listen to little snippets of music I put up other people, and they're just like, uh, you know, we gotta take this down. But that music is all, I have the, you know, authority to use that music. So, I have to fight for Instagram to keep music. So, guys, I'm gonna try to play some music tonight. You know, it's gonna be my music, and I hope this video stays up. Cause just know, y'all, I'll be having to fight for my own music. Like, how you gonna tell me I can't play my music? I wrote this, I sang it, you know? I know the music, I wrote it like. But, um, yeah, so, that's, that's just that. But, so tonight, I'm gonna make a shrimp pasta salad. I'm gonna let it refrigerate overnight, and then that's what's gonna be for my Sunday meal, and I'll eat on it, you know, throughout the week or whatever. Of course, I'll put little other uh, sides with it, um, just to make it filling, but I've been wanting a shrimp pasta salad, so that's what we're gonna cook tonight. Um, anybody cooks with me knows <laughs> if I'm at home cooking that I need to have the ambiance set, okay? So, um, first what I'm going to do, because I, well, I have to boil some stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this water boiled for the pasta. So, we're going to boil that, get that started, because that's going to take a little hot minute. Hey, how y'all doing? Oh, and I got some good news for y'all, too, so we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just um, getting this water together. I'm sorry I can't keep turning the mic, the uh, camera because my little thing is acting a little funky. So I want you guys to have good footage. So yeah, I'm over here at the sink and I'm just going to run some water in this pot. And this is the water I'm going to use for the shell, the uh, pasta. So yeah, I just put some water in a bowl, in a bowl, and I'm gonna boil it for the pasta. Okay. And for the pasta, I mean, you can use any type of pasta. You can use elbow, um, rigatoni, whatever pasta you like. Me personally, I like shells pasta. It's just. It just intrigues my mind and it makes my eyes full when I see shells. So I'm using just a shell pasta. Nothing expensive. I think this was like probably a dollar and fifty cent at food line, maybe less. I don't know. But yeah. Shell pasta, okay? But I have to let the water get nice and bubbly. Okay, it has to boil. Alright? It has to boil. Alright. Okay, so um, yeah, while we're doing that. And we're letting that boil. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the um the water for the shrimp also, cause I'm gonna have to boil that just a little, just boil it just a little, cause I have fully cooked shrimp, so I'm just gonna let it boil just a little, just a little. And basically, I'm just letting it boil to take the to take the chill off of it. So, you know, I don't have much water. I'm just letting it boil, like, not long. Um, yeah, and I'll turn that on, probably like a medium high. Yeah, probably like, I'll, I'll put that on like a medium high, just medium high. Okay, so um, when I cook, I like to definitely, you know, have an ambiance. Cause I'm just a cooker and I like to, you know, sometimes my dishes take a while. So I like to have a little music, um, a little cocktail, you know. Um, I light a candle, just kind of create the ambiance. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'll go ahead on and play some music, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear this. Uh, maybe it's best if you can't, I don't know. But I'm in here, I'm gonna play one of my songs and I'm gonna make a little cocktail and I'm going to light a candle. So while, you know, everything's getting hot, I can kind of create an ambiance, okay? So, stay tuned. I don't know if y'all can hear that. 
This is my song, Beauty and Pain, y'all. If you're a rum person, if you a, you know, bourbon person, you know, I'm a cognac girl, so I put some little cognac, you know, in my little drink, but I like to make it fruity, because cognac is strong, so I like to make it fruity and sweet. So what I'm going to do, and I'll let you guys see, um, this is the bullet. So you open this up, and basically, you, um, this is the blade, and whatever you put in here, just chops it up and smooths it out, you know, make it nice. So I'll put some ice in it because I love it to be cold. And I usually make me enough for like two drinks, right? So I, I put some ice in it, make it nice and cold. Um, and I do like a shot of cognac. Like I said, you can put whatever you want. I put like a shot of cognac. But well, you can put whatever drink is your choice. Um, I add a little bit of uh, strawberries. And like I said, before I started, you guys, I washed my hands. So I'm a clean cook. Okay. And like I said, you guys have watched me cook before. I'm all about clean cooking. Wash your pots as you go. That is the number one secret to cooking and being a good chef. Wash as you go. You don't want a dirty kitchen. You don't want a dirty area. So I don't care if I use a knife, a spoon, or whatever. I wash it. When I'm done, put it back. Wash as you go. So I, I got some frozen strawberries. I put a little couple of frozen strawberries in here. I love strawberries in my cocktail. 
I'm a pineapple girl too, but I don't have any pineapples um, right now. Which I, you know what? I probably do, but I don't feel like doing this with so I do this, and I use. Uh, so I got my strawberries in here. Um, I'll put a little bit of lemonade just to give it a kick. I love lemonade with cognac; it's just so good. Um, and like I said, I add a splash of ginger beer. I already had this one open, so I'll add a splash of ginger beer. Very much so, splash, nothing major. Okay, ginger beer is very potent, so. You don't eat much if you want just a small kick. Now, if you want a big kick, now you can put a lot of ginger beer. But ginger beer is pretty strong, so you don't need a lot of ginger beer. But I love ginger beer. Yeah. And that's the Jamaican side of me. Um, I like my cocktail sweet, so I have this thing, uh, agave, I use, and I put it into my drink, so I'm gonna put a little, a splash of agave in there. I don't know if you guys ever, I don't have much, because I use this up a lot, but this is agave, if you see it. Um, I usually get it from Walmart, or Food Lion. Um, it's an alternative to sugar. But it's it's sweet. It's good. I also use it in my smoothies. I also use it in my smoothies. It's very good in smoothies, guys. So I put it in here, and um, usually, you know, I put it in here. I mix everything together and I shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. just to give it an extra, you know, shake it, whatever, and. This here is the bullet, right? This is the bullet. You guys can't see. Oh. But yeah, I'm going to put it in here and let it blend. when it's done guys nice and blended nice little smoothie treat and I'll pour it in my glass I'll pour it in my glass as you see here and I'll put the rest in the freezer for later You know, I'll make me a little cocktail while I'm cooking. Mmm. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. So, yeah. I do a little cocktail. I love my little bullet. It's my best friend. Like, literally. Okay. So yeah. And I just keep it like under one of my cabinets here. I wish I could move it around, but I can't really move my camera around guys, not tonight, because it's I got it set. And you know, and this tripod is acting up, so I have it set, so I'm moving around. But I want you guys to see the kitchen and kind of see how I make the pasta the most important. So that's what you guys will see. Okay, um, yeah, so we got the ambiance, we got a nice candle lit, 
Can you guys see the candle? We got a nice candle lit. We got a nice little sippy sip. Ooh. Amazing. Ugh. Gotta have your sippy sip when you're cooking, y'all. Um, yeah. And just to not put my lighter back because I lit the candle lit. I'll go ahead and, um, yeah. So, it looks like the water's getting hot, um, for the pasta. It's not quite hot yet, but the water for the shrimp is kind of hot. So, this is what I've done, guys. Because we're not angling sauce tonight, I don't have big shrimp. I have the little small salad shrimp. And you can get these from Food Lion, Walmart. They're like $2 a pack. Yeah, probably like a dollar ninety nine cent, two dollars a pack. Um, and I doused, not a lot. I just did a doused of angel wing sauce. I let it marinate for like an hour in the fridge. Okay, so that's the only season I use for these shrimp. Okay, and I just doused it. Like I said, these are fully cooked shrimp, so you don't have to really cook these. But I'm gonna boil it for a while just to take the chill off. Okay, because uh, you know. It's just what I do. So I'm going to put these in because the water is hot for this. I doused it with angel wing sauce, guys. I put it in the bowl and I stirred it up and I just doused it. I let it sit for an hour to marinate, okay? These are like salad shrimp. They're like $2 from Food Line and Walmart, okay? Nothing expensive. I'm a bargain girl. Please believe. So we put those in. We put those in. The um, on the pot, I have one left. We'll put that in there, and then we'll get um, a spoon to kind of stir that. And I'll probably let that boil for probably about probably about five minutes. Because it's already boiling. So I'll give it like five minutes. I let it get white. Even though those are fully cooked, I let it get super transparent white. Like an opaque white color. So probably about five to seven minutes, I let it boil. Okay? I let the shrimp boil for about five to seven minutes. Now, the, the water for the noodles are hot. Hot, hot, hot. So I'm going to use noodles. Like I said, I use the shell noodles. I'm going to put the noodles in. I let those cook for about 8 to 10 minutes, okay? But you want to make sure your water is boiling hot before you put these in, all right? And I just throw those in there like such, okay? Nothing major, nothing, nothing complicated, all right? And I just let that cook. Now, I use two... I use two different utensils for one for the meat, one for the pasta, okay? So two different utensils, all right? And I kind of stir around the noodles just to break them up a bit, all right? Put those down there. And I know the difference from the spoons because one of the spoons has a little sauce on it. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're going to let that cook. The shrimp will take, like, like I said, about six and the noodles will take about five oh well to eight to ten minutes so i'll play another song for you guys okay oh before i play the song i want to let you guys know okay so because i've been so happy with you guys my family my angel wing sauce and my blood of jesus sauce users I have a gift for you guys, okay? So, you know I love music. I'm also an artist. So, I have a question, okay? The question is... I'm going to give you a question. The first person that answers the question in my inbox, send it to Angel Wing Soft inbox. Do not put the answer on the comments. I don't want the answer in the comments. I want you to inbox, DM me, the answer. And the first person that says the right answer, I'm going to ship you out a uh, order of angel wing sauce. You'll get all three. So let me show you what you'll get. So 
you'll get the angel wing sauce, the CBD and hemp recipe. You'll get the regular angel wing sauce, okay, for your hot wings. And you'll get the blood of Jesus marinade for your ribs. I'm going to send you all three in a pack, the new packaging, a brush to brush uh, over your wings, your uh, ribs, whatever you're making, your hamburgers. Like I said, you guys can use that as a marinade as well. I'm going to send it all to you. So here's the question. The person that sends me the answer, right answer first will get the trio, guys. Okay? So, the question is, okay, what famous rock band did Jimi Hendrix play with before he went solo? And this particular band, he got kicked out of because he wasn't doing what he needed to do. He was on his own way, okay? So what rock band? I found out the answer to this. I thought it was pretty interesting, so I want to see if you guys know. Was it Rolling Stones? Was it Ike and Tina? Or was it the Beatles? Okay? And that's your choice, all right? So send me the choice and put it in the DM. Do not put the answer in the comment, guys. I do not want the answer in the comments. If you put the answer in the comments, you will be disqualified. I want you to DM me the correct answer and I will ship you out wherever you are your three sauces in your specialized new packaging and with a whole kit. You'll have the brush. Um, I think it comes with a brush. Yeah, a brush, the three. Uh, and that's it. You'll have your brush and then everything else you have to do. But yeah, so I'll ship that out to you guys. So let me know. The question again is, which famous rock band did Jimi Hendrix play with before he was dismantled from the group? Was it the Rolling Stones, Ike and Tina, or the Beatles? So let me know. I'm interested to see if you guys know. You know, I'm like a rock girl. I like soulful music. Definitely like hip hop, R&B, all of that. But I am definitely rock and roll. Tina, uh, you know. Beyonce. Well, Beyonce to me is rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? I think she's a little rock and roll, but they, they call her pop, you know, but I, lo I love rock and roll, so yeah, I'm a rock and roll girl. Um, yeah, so let me know, guys. I'm interested to see how many uh, educated people we have in the music in the music game here. Yeah. Alright, so while we're waiting on that to get finished cooking, I'm going to play one of my songs. This song, this song is called Hustler. You guys probably hear it again, but it's okay. I've done my EP. I have six songs. I'll get more. <laughs> and I have a lot of collaboration with other people, but these are just my songs to myself. So This song is called Hustler. Yeah, I was in my feelings when I made this song. I ain't no friend.
nothing major I like my vegetables more raw they're more healthier that way so I have like playbano peppers in here I don't know if you guys cook with that but playbano peppers give anything you cook a fresh taste like I put it in my pico I put it on my tacos I love playbano peppers those are the dark green peppers in here um, I put red peppers um, sweet peppers of course um, Orange peppers, orange, everything's peppers is sweet except the Plibano. I put um, celery. I cut up some celery um, and orange, yellow, red peppers. Everything peppers is sweet except Plibano and the um, celery. So I cut that up. I just chopped it up. I don't like to chop it too small because I like to be able to pick it up with my spoon or fork if I have a fork. So yeah, so I have these. What I'm going to do with these... It's like I said, saute them for probably about four minutes. Nothing, nothing major. And I'm going to saute it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. You can use butter if you like. Some people use butter. Um, I like olive, olive oil. It doesn't clog your arteries um, as much. Butter is a clog of the artery. So I like um, virgin olive oil. So I'm going to put this on the... Um, in the pot, let it get a little warm. Okay, can you guys see the pot? Let me see if I can move this over a little bit so you guys can see. Oh Lord, 
I don't want to move this thing here. Hopefully everything goes well. All right, so, yeah, moving over a little bit. So I have the pot. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here, okay? Probably enough to say maybe two teaspoons? Two tablespoons. Yeah, two tablespoons, okay? Two tablespoons of that. And I'm gonna constantly check on my noodles because I don't want them to get overcooked. They probably have about three more minutes to go. So I'm gonna do my um, vegetables. So I'm gonna put that on. And I'll put that on probably like a, if you have electric stove, probably like a six or seven, which I have it on a seven. Okay, and I'm gonna rinse off this spoon because I'm gonna use this spoon again. The spoon that I use. I'm gonna wash that off. And I'm gonna use that. I don't like to make too many dishes, guys. I'm not a fan of dishes at all. Okay, so I'm washing off this spoon. So yeah, so when that oil gets hot, I'll move it around the pot and I'll uh, put the veggies in there and let that saute for a while, okay? These veggies, I mean these pasta noodles will be done in about three minutes. So when the clock says 10.47, yeah, I'll take those out. I like them kind of not too mushy, but definitely soft enough to eat. And remember, it will be refrigerated, so you want it enough where when it gets cold, it's not, it still has a softness to it. Um, yeah, so. Let me see if I have another song for you guys, okay? Song right here, getting top, getting top, okay. What y'all know about that? This is my music, guys. <laughs> Aside from my business, I got a little wild side. Just a little. So the, the pasta is done. 
the pop is done, okay? It's perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm gonna let it cool for just a second, and then I'll uh, go ahead and drain it, okay? But we're gonna play that getting top one more time because you guys didn't turn that.
to the pot, okay? And now I'm gonna add my ingredients. So like I said, I'm putting some mayo. You wanna use a good amount of mayo, I'm gonna be honest. You might have to buy another thing of mayo when you're done with this pasta, okay? pretty much the whole thing. So you're gonna have to use a 15 ounce jar of mayo. You're probably gonna have to get new mayo, okay? Now, I use sour cream because I don't like a thick mayo-y taste. And the sour cream kinda evens out the mayo-y taste. So that's why I use sour cream on, uh, put a sour cream. Now, you don't need much sour cream, probably about Three tablespoons. Okay. Probably about the amount of three tablespoons, all right? That's what I use for the sour cream, okay? Now, I'll put in my salt. Now, you have to salt to taste. I don't know what to tell you about that. I only use a little. Uh, my uh, Italian seasoning. I use a lot of Italian seasoning, guys, so I ain't gonna tell you how much to use, you use as much as you think you need to use, okay? I use a lot of Italian seasoning, right? I love herbs. I love herbs and spices, okay? Um, I put my cilantro. Like I said, everything to taste. This is cilantro is not been open, so I have to open the cilantro. It hasn't been opened. Nice. This is brand new cilantro, guys. So hasn't been opened. My bad. Sorry, I didn't know that. All right, I use cilantro. Got to use the cilantro. Huh? Cilantro, if you guys don't know, is one of the best herbs you can use. This goes on steak, pasta, whatever. Cilantro is just so fresh. It's just an amazing spice. So I spice to taste. I like a lot of herbs and spices. So like I said, it's to everyone's advantage. Uh, pepper. I use a lot of pepper, honestly. I'll put black pepper. Everything that you do is to your own liking, guys, to your own taste. I put a little adobo. Just a bit. I don't put a lot of adobo. You don't need a lot of adobo. Put some adobo in here. Probably about equal to two tablespoons. Probably about two tablespoons of adobo. Okay. Put a little turmeric. Now turmeric will change the color of your dish, guys. This yellow is not a joke. So I'll probably put probably enough about one teaspoon of, of, of turmeric in there. Okay. Uh, and oregano. I love oregano. I love that on my regular shrimp, so I put it on my shrimp pasta because I just love it. Okay, probably about one tablespoon of oregano. Uh, some of Tony's seasoning, like I said, I probably put enough about one tablespoon in here as well. One or two tablespoons. Um, just a dash of cayenne. I'm talking about just. Boom, that's it, that's all you need, all right? And I have a little secret I'm gonna let you guys know about, okay? So, over here is my Over here is my sugar bag, okay? Certain sugars in here. I have brown sugar, I have white sugar, I have dark brown sugar. And what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of, just a tad bit of the traditional sugar, okay? And the only reason I do that is because I don't want to change the color of the pasta. I want it to look nice and pretty. So I'm gonna put a little bit of traditional white sugar, which 
I use brown sugar in all of the dishes, but this one, I like to keep the color and make it look pretty because it's summertime. Well, about to be. So I'll put probably about enough or two tablespoons of sugar, okay? I'll put that in there. And let's go ahead and stir this bad boy up, okay? Cook. 
Um, I hope that you could hear some of the music that I've been recording. You can go to iTunes, uh, iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud. I'm all there. Um, and go support your girl. Download, download, download. Those downloads add up. Um, and also follow me on Angel Wing Sauce at Angel Wing Sauce on Instagram. At Blood of Jesus Sauce on Instagram. At Brittany Futrail is my personal page. Um, and... Also, send your questions. DM your questions. Because the first person that gets it right, I'm shipping you out all three of these. I'm shipping you out this right here. I'm shipping you out the uh, H, uh, H, the hemp and the CBD and the blood of Jesus. So you'll get all three of those in a kit. Shipped out for free. No obligation. As promo for Angeline Sauce. Um, if you don't know the question, the question is, what rock band did Jimi Hendrix play with first out of the group and it is Rolling Stones, Ike and Tina, or the Beatles. So yes, answer that question. Do not comment inbox only. DM only. I love you guys. Angel Wing Soft subscribers. I am steadily trying and fighting to get this in the grocery stores. Things have to be handled, paperwork has to be done, classes have to be taken. There's a lot of money and investments. But Angel Wing Sauce will be in grocery stores one day. You can guarantee it. And all of you that's invested in that were the beginners of, 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 of believing in the, in the vision and investing in the vision, you guys are family and you will have a special place in the Angel Wing Sauce dynasty. Please believe. I love you guys. Have a happy Sunday. I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like on tomorrow so you can make this for your family. It's a nice summer dish. Nice and cool dish. It's served cold, so it'll be a nice cool dish for summer. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Finished product of our shrimp pasta salad, guys. Looks amazing.